Over these past couple of months, our foundation has been shaken, not just by a pandemic that stole too many of our loved ones, upended our daily lives, and sent tens of millions into unemployment, but also by the rumbling of the age-old fault lines that our country was built on, the lines of race and power that are now once again so nakedly exposed for all of us to grapple with. Michelle Obama addressing the COVID-19 pandemic and police brutality protests during YouTube's graduation special. If any of you are scared or confused or angry or just plain overwhelmed by it all, if you feel like you're searching for a lifeline just to steady yourself, you are not alone. I am feeling all of that too. I think we all are. The former first lady brought up all sorts of important questions. If you're required to work during a pandemic, but don't have enough protective equipment or health insurance from your employer or paid sick leave, well, what is more essential, your work or your life? If you don't feel safe driving your own car in your own neighborhood, or going for a jog or buying some candy at 7-Eleven or bird watching, if you can't even approach the police without fearing for your life, well, then how do you begin to chart your own course? She also had some answers and offered words of hope. If you're spending a lot of time just hashtagging and posting right now, uh, that's useful, especially during a pandemic. But it's only a beginning. Go further. Send all your friends a link to register to vote. Text everybody you know to join you in exercising their constitutional right to protest. That makes it even more important for us as a nation to step up. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we want to be that voice, because we can garner some attention. I know you can do it, because over these many years, I've seen exactly who you are. I've seen your creativity and your talent and your resourcefulness. Graduates, you all are exactly what we need right now and for the years and decades to come. You get here because you work hard. Um, and a lot of kids don't know that because they're living with that doubt in their heads. Barack also had an inspiring message to share. And we want you to know that all the work you've put in to get your education is still one of the best investments you can make. We've seen it for decades. The more education you have, the better you and your families are likely to fare. It's been borne out over the past couple of months, and it will be the case for years to come. So you all have done something great. Hold your heads high and celebrate. With all the important messages, the pair said they also encouraged graduates to celebrate. And go ahead and do a little dance. <laughs> well, a cool dance, <laughs> just for yourself. <laughs> Maybe even not so cool if you're just by yourself. Yeah. Embarrass yourself. <laughs> but but the important thing is to celebrate. <laughs> Congratulations again, everybody. And now we hope you enjoy the rest of this once-in-a-lifetime commencement. It's going to be good. It's going to be great.